Hi beautiful Geminis, welcome back to the channel everybody. I want to thank you so very much Gemini for all your contributions to this channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. It all is truly appreciated. Gemini, I'm pulling on fortunes today. Gemini energy. What's coming up for the beautiful Geminis? Gemini energy. Gemini. A proposal. Either in business or a romantic opportunity. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. The Owl card. Hmm. Patience. Slow down. Change your attitude and clear your mind. Plain. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. A proposal. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and possibilities. So... There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this time. A proposal in business or romance is indicated, but you're going to need to be patient, change your attitude, and clear your mind. You could be going on a plane trip or a journey, either physically or metaphorically. Hmm. What's going on here for Gemini's? Gemini energy. What's going on, Gemini? A merry motive. You're going to have a close encounter with somebody who has a merry motive. Spirit of gratitude. Change your attitude. Call on the muse. Somebody... Oh, damn. Somebody's exposed and revealed. It is what it is. Somebody could have had a close encounter. But it's about being great and full. Some uh, You're getting spiritual messages. There's some kind of close encounter. But you're going to have to be patient, slow down, to trust your intuition. Each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what is needed. Depending, deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachments. It's like, somebody is trying to hold on to something. I, I don't know. Allow it to deepen. It's about receiving every day. It becomes easier to receive than the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. Damn, karma. There's nothing from a past life that can be addressed in the current life. So either this person has some karma from the past that they got to deal with. But it's a delusion. 
intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. Somebody's holding on. I'm feeling codependency. It's about humility. Allow me, divine, to always accept the high, the right assistance, and I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving. It's about receiving, but being humble. Somebody has to humble themselves. I don't know if it's your energy or a person around you. They got to humble themselves. Mm. Sacrifice. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, uh, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. It's a sacrifice to love. So it's like, somebody who didn't want to sacrifice something. <sighs> somebody doesn't want to sacrifice something. They don't, they want their cake. They want to eat it too. They got to surrender. They got to get through this delusion. They're deluding themselves somehow. They got to learn to be humble. They got to learn to receive, to listen to their intuition, but they didn't want to sacrifice. You know what I mean? They didn't, they've been exposed and revealed. They didn't want to, something to do with they didn't want to sacrifice, give something up. Or they have received some karma for not letting go, you know. Yeah, you reap what you sow. So this person may have been in their ego. They have to learn humility. They're reaping what they've sown. They weren't being real. You know, they wove their own reality. They're like attracting negative karma. And they're reaping what they've sown. They're made for motion. Maybe they had a close encounter with somebody, you know, when they were wanting to propose to someone else. They've woven their own reality. They have deluded themselves. They've got to learn to be humble. They had a choice to make. And they're like, it's not so black and white. They deluded themselves. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You know, you either are in love with somebody or you are not. Love asks you to sacrifice. Love asks you to put the work in, to be true, to be true to yourself. You have to be humbled at some point in time. got curious about having a close encounter with somebody so they needed to be aware you want this love you got to fight for it 
you want love you have to be willing to sacrifice you have to be love is not just like you know it just doesn't you have to be willing to sacrifice make sacrifices if you want love it, you know it's almost like someone wanted to be curious about someone else you know what I mean and it's like if you want love you have to be willing to give up all others if you want it if you want true love you have to put the work in you have to make sacrifices this person didn't want to make sacrifices they wanted their cake and they wanted to eat it too. And they need to grow up. They need to learn to listen. You know what I mean? They were blinded by bias. That is denial. This person figured, well... I'm in a connection. I love this person, but I want my cake and I want to eat it too. This person was deluding themselves. They're like, I made to, you know, I've been made to have made to have sex. Nobody forces you to do anything. You don't want it. You need to stand up and fight for what it is you do want. This person got blinded by bias, you know, um, denial. What did the person figure? They had true love. They want true love. But they weren't willing to stand up and fight for what they wanted. They didn't want to make any sacrifices. Life's a juggle. You know what I mean? It's choices and decisions. It's consequences. You know what I mean? Like, if you want true love, that's what's in this read. They had a true love, okay? But they figured they were made for motion, built to be sexual with other partners, having close encounters, hookups, stuff like that. But yet they want true love. Did they figure that their partner was not made the same? They wanted to juggle. They gambled. They lost, obviously. You grow together or you grow apart. It's that simple. And you have to make sacrifices to have the great love that you want. I have never seen a love situation yet, true love, that didn't sacrifice, make sacrifices, but this person didn't want to give anything up. Whether it be their lifestyle, whether it be other people, whether it be, you know, material possessions or location or whatever. They wanted it all. They weren't willing to sacrifice anything. They have an unorthodox approach to the way that they think. You know, they need to expand their mind. Heed the vibes, man. That's like the scorpionic energy of, you know, what the head thinks, the tail must follow. You know what I mean? You know, you've got to, you can't just say what you want. you got to put in the work and the actions behind it. So someone feels there's been an unfair judgment. <sighs> No, you reap what you sow. There's nothing unfair about it.
Maybe this person judged another person unfairly. Maybe they figured that this person didn't want to sacrifice shit. Time to process and absorb your approach, man. Heed the vibes. They had one faithful friend. Now they're on their path alone. They should have been grateful for what they had. This, the universe is asking this person, what do you seek? So the universe asks this person, what are you looking for? Well, I want true love. I, I want to be great. I want to feel fulfilled. I want emotional fulfillment. I want this. I want this. Well, spirit asks this person, well, what are you willing to sacrifice to get it? Oh, I'm not willing to sacrifice nothing. Well, how are you going to get it then? Oh, I don't want, I, I don't want to sacrifice anything. I don't want to give anything up. They don't, whether it's a job or a location, whatever the circumstances are, other people, money, material possessions. Maybe somebody had to sell their house or change their job or change their location. Or so spirit saying, well, I've given you what you asked for. I've given you the star. I've given you your wish fulfillment, your true love. What else do you want? They weren't willing to sacrifice. Oh, they're thinking I was made for motion. I was made to like have uh, many sexual partners. I, I mean, I'm made to move, man. I'm made. Yes, you are made to move. <laughs> but what do you want? That's what the universe asked of this person. Why don't you be express your gratitude? And be humble. You have one faithful friend here. And you're judging them unfairly. What is it you're seeking? What do you want? If you want this true love, you're going to have to stand up and be a warrior and fight for it. You don't want to fight for it? You don't want to sacrifice and give anything up? Then you reap what you sow. But I have given you wish fulfillment. I have given you your true love. And now, because you didn't want to sacrifice a give something up or a way of being or a way of thinking or how they were acting, hooking up with close encounters, you know, this is someone who meets somebody and then walks off with them. Somebody gives them a wink and it's like an open invitation to have sex with them. Well, you reap what you sow. They have an unorthodox approach to love. And an unorthodox to uh, approach to how to obtain that love or keep that love. How are you going to keep that love that I have given you, the universe said. You prayed for it. You asked for it. I've given it to you. And now you want to sit and drag your feet? Can't decide? Mm, well, I don't want to give anything up. I don't want to give up my freedom. I don't want to give up my single life. I don't want to give up my other options. I don't want to give up my home. I don't want to move. I don't want to do... What the hell do you want then? You want it, Spirit says, then stand up and fight for it. Be a damn warrior. Get a set of balls and do what you're supposed to do. That simple. Otherwise, it'll slip through your fingers in a blink of an eye. And that's what they did. Spirit told them, you before you take this leap, so they were pre-warned, before you leap, thinking this is your fortune, you better open your mind. It's 
time to rise up. You want this, love. Look to the future. Stop looking in the... So this is someone impulsive, okay? Like I said, they're walking down the street. They see something that they like. Their eye goes, oh, eye candy. I'm going to get that person's phone number. I'm made for motion. I'm born to be sexual, man. I'm going to get that one's phone number instead of seeing who they had. They don't want to give nothing up. They just wanted to enjoy the moment. Yet Spirit's saying you better open up your mind and look toward the future because every action you take has a consequence. You may not like the leap that you're about to take. Be wise. That's the key to wisdom. Living in the moment. Ooh, in the moment, I'm pretty hot and heavy for that person. So I think I am going to make a move on that person. Yet they got someone loyal and dedicated, a true friend, a true companion, and, you know, somewhere else. Yeah. Connection is necessary. So, like, if you're not willing to go see that person, if you're not willing to be around them, what is the point of being with them? Why are you being a time waster in this person's life? They have a mission to fulfill. They have a love to fulfill. You better get a little, be a little humble here. What do you want? You want your cake? Spirits leveling this person out. What do you want, person? What do you want? You prayed for true love and I've given it to you. But you got to connect. Connection is necessary. You can't just sit over there in La La Land somewhere watching all the people walking up and down the street, getting phone numbers everywhere, being busy working or not willing to sacrifice, give them the, any time or energy. You, what the hell? If you're not putting time and energy into it, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to slip through your fingers. Oh, they didn't want to give nothing up. They wanted it all. Whatever they were doing, maybe um, they, they're working all the time or, or maybe they don't want to give up their home or they don't want to move or they don't want to compromise. They don't want to like meet in the middle. They just want it all. They don't want to give nothing up. They want love, but they're not willing to do anything with it. Connection is necessary. You know what I mean? What did they think this person was going to sit around twiddling their thumbs for the rest of their life? Oh, yes, I'm in love, but never connect. So it's looking like this person, you know, was satisfying themselves with hookups or close encounters just like to satisfy their needs when they were away from their partner. Oh, they love me. I'm in love with this person. So what are you doing, Spirit said? What are you doing doing these hookups then? You prayed for this person, I give you true love, and now look what you're doing. You reap what you sow. Shameless sensuality. I'm made for motion. I meant to screw. I was born to screw. This is what this person is thinking, you know. I see something, I gotta act on it. They're very impulsive. I see something, shameless sensuality. Oh, I gotta act on it. I'm having that person in the here and the now. They don't look at the future actions of uh, what it does after the fact. Spirit saying it's a seeker's journey. When are you ever satisfied? What is it that you're seeking that you don't already have? What do you want? What do you want? You said you wanted true love, so it's a seeker's journey. What are you seeking? 
to this person? Do you want shameless sensuality or do you want something great and full? I've You said you wanted something great and full, so I answered your prayer, I give it to you, and now you want to be over here being sensual with everything else. Shameless and, oh, this is an impulsive person, does things on impulse without thinking. And then after the fact, you, whatever, that's the cause and effect. Damn. Yeah. They don't want to give nothing up. You know, they want their cake. They want to eat it too. And it's like they sit here thinking about their time investments. Like making people wait, wait. They gotta think, 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 think about what you want. But don't breadcrumb your partner. Beg for your time. Your energy. And they sit there. Hmm. Well, I don't want to give anything up. Whatever it is. Addictions. codependency, whatever it is, lust, obsessions, it's just the living in the moment, you know, so you reap what you sow, you had an empress, you had true love, a magician man this person had ten of cups they have reaped what they have sown maybe they got somebody pregnant got into a family situation they didn't really want to be there. They wanted to their cake and they wanted to eat it too. It's like they're very competitive. They have addictions. They were like they just want to win. They just want to win. So if this person sees like a pretty person or a, a handsome person, it's like more the competition is more about defeating the rivals than it, it's just the thrill of the chase. I got the person. Immature. Yeah, you know. Checking out what everybody else is doing. Oh, you know, that's the eye, you know, trying to see what else is out there, you know. Yet they had someone very dedicated. So that's a narcissistic attitude, man. Impulsive, reckless behavior. They move toward an option when they had the star. Thinking that, you know, I'm going to make all my wishes come true. You know, I'm going to move forward to an abundance of happiness. I want it all. I want it all. I want to have all my options. Whatever I see, I want. It's to compete with those of the same sex they want to win this person likes to win 
They compete with other masculines or other feminines to get the prize and then they get the prize and they don't know what the hell to do with it. What do I do now? <clears throat> I got what I wanted. But they're hurt with what they got. And then they say afterwards, oh my God, oh my God, I regret what I did. I'm ashamed of what I did. <laughs> They're reckless. And they didn't appreciate what they had. The star. Someone loving. Someone grounded. Someone worthy. Someone devoted. Sincere. Genuine. So then they go, oh my God, oh my God, what did I do? I'm ashamed, I'm embarrassed. That's that humble pie, man. That's the reality. When reality sets in after you were impulsive, now what do you got? It's about being humble. I have addictions. They got to have some kind of addiction. It's just competitive spirit competition they want to slay the competition I can get anybody I want yeah told you player energy thinking you know oh yeah I got a reputation to uphold that a made for motion I'm built to screw everything I want to screw that's what I'm made for I'm made for motion I'm made to have many many sexual encounters I'm that good in bed man oh, oh humble pie hmm Mistresses. Pulling the wool over people's eyes. See, this person wanted uh, to hold on to, to it all. They didn't want to give anything up. They were being greedy. They were a hoarder. It's like, I want it all. I want it all. I don't want to see what I'm doing. I don't want to acknowledge what I'm doing. I don't want to acknowledge what problem I have. Maybe they, you know, they don't want to acknowledge it. They don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to give anything up. They want what they want when they want it at the time that they want it. And then they cry in their bloody beer cups after they did what they did. Then they sit here in this shame, remorse, and guilt. Oh my God, what did I do? Huh, see? They had stability. And now this weighs heavily on this person. So I don't know if they were trapped in a family situation or whatever. Well, they screwed the wrong person. I think somebody got pregnant. Conceived. All that screwing around they did. I don't know. Now they're sitting here heavily burdened. Yet they had success and stability. They wished upon a star. Spirit gave them true love. But they wanted it all. They wanted everything. They wanted this person, their true love, to sit at home and wait for them. Because they were all grounded and genuine and loyal. And then they wanted the cake. A lot of it. Whatever they saw, I bet I can get that person competing with their buddies to get them. You know, I'm the competition. I won out over those other masculines or those other feminines. Yeah, I'm good. I'm hot. I am made for motion. <laughs> Humble pie time, Spirit says. Your ego got you nothing 
What'd your ego get you? Gotta swallow your pride now, bucko. You refuse to see. The land of illusion denial. Oh, well, there's just nothing wrong with me. I'm just made from ocean, you know. I can screw anything. I want to. I'll never get caught. Mm, really? Why are you worrying then? Why are you in a nightmare? Why is your conscience bothering you? Maybe some of them don't even have a conscience at the time they did it. Spirits making them have a conscience, yeah. Mm hmm. Financially stuck now. And there they go. What did I do? What did I do? Oh my God, what did I do? I was out cheating. Oh no, I deny that I cheat. No, I'm not a cheater. No, I am not a cheater. I'm just made, they tell themselves in their mind, I'm made for motion. I am made to have many sexual partners. I am so hot, man. <laughs> That's this person's attitude, for real. Why are they feeling so lonely now? Maybe this person doesn't know how to be alone. They got work to do, man. That's why this person, you just, you know, there was eight cups on the table here. But someone says, I need more from life than eight cups. <laughs> I want wish fulfillment here. I'm not satisfied with the eight cups that you're giving me. You can either put the work in or I'm out of town. This person became single and abundant. They know their own worth. They know their own value. They didn't need this person. They're not codependent for crying out loud. They're like, I got enough self-respect for myself to walk away from you. If you're not willing to put in the work, or maybe this person said, oh, I'm always working when they're out screwing around. You can't fool a high priestess, dudes. Yeah, competing for sex, see? That's what they do. They'll fight other people just to win the prize. What'd they win? Ten of Swords. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what they won. They backstabbed themselves. Lesson learned. <laughs> See? And now they're freaking angry that they've been hurt. They're freaking angry that this relationship ended. You know, the illusions that this person told themselves... All the illusions that I made for motion, man. I am the hottest, hottest, hottest human being that ever walked the planet. This person's ego is huge. I can screw anything I want. And my personal always love me. They will always be there. Don't look like it. Where'd they go? And what do you have? Because they lost their true love. I told you. Now they're like feeling all backstabbed and betrayed. Everybody's against them. Everybody's turning on them. And they're feeling all backstabbed and betrayed. Why? Because their person walked away. They love themselves enough to walk away. And quite honestly, they love this person enough to walk away. You got some growing up to do here, boy. You're not all that in a bag of chips. Like you think you are. I, I'm no morsel here. <laughs> I know what true love is. 
I know what I'm deserving of. I don't deserve to be treated like that. You misjudged me. You misjudged me. Thinking I'd never walk away. Hmm. And now they're angry. That's those delusional thoughts coming back to stab them in the back. What? <laughs> Thought they were so sexual? Made for motion? Guess this person wasn't too impressed with their sexuality. Not enough. Teamwork or nothing. It's third party crap. It's one too many people in the mix, man. I'm not sharing. No, no. Nope. I'm not sharing. I'm not begging for your wand. I don't need your wand. I can get my own wand. Thank you very much. Reap what you sow. Karma. Now this person is like all injured, hurt. Oh my God. What's wrong with this person? They left me behind. What's wrong with this person being happy? What's wrong with this person loving themselves enough to walk away from me? Guess you weren't the shit. I'm confident in my own skills. I'm confident on my own. I'm going to be loyal to me. I can get emotional fulfillment too. I can find true love. I can find wish fulfillment. Damn tower. Soulmate. I'll find an, a true soulmate. Someone who will love me truly and deeply. Truly, deeply, madly. Guess what? Every masculine out there got a wand. You're not the only one with a dick, dick. <laughs> I'm being for real. This person's ego's out of control. I don't know who they thought they were. Maybe you, maybe you glowed them up somehow and told them how good they were in bed or something. It went right to their head. Oh, now I can get anybody I want. I don't know. I'm just saying. Roles reverse too. A lot of feminine energies are the same way. They can get any dick they want. You know what I mean? They don't appreciate when someone is loving them wholeheartedly. That's what I mean. Impulse. You know, if you want dick, there's dick everywhere. This person says I can get a dick anywhere. See ya. End of cycle. You want to be reckless and impulsive and like offer me tidbits? What? This person actually, you know what this, you know what this person's problem is? They compare themselves to other masculines. Roles reverse. Women can do this to women too. You know, I'm better in bed. I'm hotter than you are. <laughs> They're actually a small dick. Thinking they're a big dick. They compare themselves to other masculines. They're more in competition with other masculines than they are with anything else. They're comparing themselves to other masculines. Are you for real? Probably sending out pictures of their dick everywhere on the internet, on the web. 
Hey everybody, I got a dick. I have a big dick. <laughs> Somebody told them, no you don't. You got a little dick. Now they're pouting. They're unstable. They're shook. Oh man, I'm praying. I gotta get my person back. I'm gonna tell them the truth. I gotta be fair. I was foolish. I took a risk. Could have had a child. Just saying, now what are you gonna do? Hmm. That's why they were waiting. Waiting for judgment. <laughs> Oh, my, my, my. Charming. I can charm the pants off anybody, they say. That's what they took leadership on. They could have a drinking problem. I don't know. They're just very self-centered. I like third parties. They do too much drinking. That's this person's problem. Figure in there the king shit. Well, so if they're the king shit, why do they keep thinking about the past person? Hmm? Why? Because past persons set up boundaries against them. Hmm. Now they're like, I want multiple lovers. Well, why do they always end up in this lack energy then? They're void. Whoever this other lover is that they went to got a dick somewhere else. Maybe took another opportunity. That's what this person was deluding themselves about. They thought they were the, they were the only dick. So whatever lover that they went to, they're like, what the hell just happened here? I thought I was the big dick on the block. This other lover could have actually told them, no, you're old. You wore out. I need something more vibrant, something more youthful. That can be roles reversed, so don't get offended, guys. These women who are doing that to masculines, thinking they're the king shit, queen shits, you find out in a hurry, there's other queen shits out there. And these women compete with other women to get the masculines. What? So that actually could have happened. Maybe it wasn't so much as your people going out there competing for other lovers. Maybe these other lovers were competing with you. Hey, eh? seeing how beautiful you are, seeing you're gifted, seeing you're the star you know how to have close relationships you know you know how to have stability and long-term goals and long-term progress mm. how loving and nurturing you are you know your own value your worth look at you i can bring home anything i want i want to work on my coin i can produce coin I want to work on love, I can have love. On a stable environment, I can have it. On someone honest. Truthful. That I can depend on and rely on. I know I'm attractive. Inside and out. I empower myself. I'm no fool. You aren't the only package out there, Mr. or Mrs. Whoever you are, 
with the ego. It's other women competing with other women. It's other men competing with other men to say, hey, look, I'm the shit. It's all surface. It's all surface. So when you go for things that are based upon surface, shallowness, that's what you get. Shallowness. People who are also shallow, when they see the next best thing, they compete for that. This person's reaping what they've sown. Spirit is no fool. I'm telling you, the universe knows exactly what they're doing. Hmm. I don't know how many lifetimes this person has repeated the same lessons, but Spirit's tired of their wishes. Like Spirit's like, how many lifetimes you gotta live before you get it? Be humble. Otherwise, you're going to reap what you sow with you and your shameless sensualities, with your hookups. You reap what you sow. It's a seeker's journey. What are you seeking? Hookups? Or are you seeking true love? Oh, I want true love, universe. Of course, I want true love. Well, spirit aligns it, and then they want to have it all. Greed, man. Mm. So they got stung by their own venom here with the scorpion energy. They don't like it when it comes back and bites them. <laughs> They're not impulsive. They just want what they want when they want it. Well, it's come back to bite their ass. And they are not enjoying the journey. <laughs> Spirit says, going to be humble now, going to seek advice, going to seek some knowledge here. What do you want to do? What are you seeking? Oh, this person had merry motives, you know, good intentions. They just can't hold them. They're delusional. They believe in a, believed in a delusion. That's why they've been exposed and revealed and getting their karma. Spirit didn't have this. It's not like the universe comes down and says, you are getting negative karma. They did it to themselves. The universe didn't have to do a darn thing. This is a person who jumps into relationships, <coughs> businesses, opportunities without thinking. And then later, you know, I should have listened to my intuition. I should have slowed down. I should have been more patient. I should have, would have, could have. Now they've been humbled. Just saying. Whoa. Thrill of the chase, man. Competing with other people to get the prize. Well, not every prize you get is worth having. And they're finding that out. They are not doing well at all. Take care, Gemini.